Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kate. So I know we're already moving right along into April, but I could not let my March favorites video go. I could not pass up sharing with you guys the products that I ended up trying out and falling in love with. I feel like I hit the jackpot on some of my new finds. So I still wanted to share them with you guys. I'm gonna try to keep it as short and sweet as possible, but stay tuned if you wanna see, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and share with you guys what I loved through March. Okay, so the first product that I want to share with you guys is this Sugar Body Polish from J.R. Watkins. You guys know I love them, love their products, and this is one I've just been gravitating towards recently and truly, truly love. So I'm really particular, I feel like, about my body scrubs and polishes. Um, I just want a very specific texture, and I don't mind the ones that have a little bit of like moisture or oil within them, just because I know that it's moisturizing my skin skin. So the texture and formula of this is one of my favorites. I love it. I can definitely feel it working, but it's not too harsh. It's still um, really nice and gentle on my sensitive skin. I use this on my armpits. I've used it on my bikini line. I've used this on my legs, like wherever. I haven't had any bad reactions or problems to it. Um, this scent is my favorite. So they have like four, I think, different scents now, but the Awaken smells so good and I cannot recommend this one enough. Um, it has coriander, bergamot, and jojoba extracts, and then it's a rosemary and rosewood scent to it. It's also 98% natural in its drugstore, so both of those I feel like are a win-win, but it says that it's a naturally derived body polish made with fine sugar crystals to gently exfoliate skin, infused with a powerful blend of neck natural extracts to soften while stimulating and awakening the senses. So I do feel like it delivers on everything it says it's supposed to do. It definitely exfoliates. It has this nice scent that is like a pick me up and then it leaves my skin feeling so soft. So that's one of the reasons I think I love this so much. I not only love it in the moment as I'm using it, but it really does just leave my skin feeling super, super soft. I've noticed it, especially on my legs. So the next product that I have is a splurge and one that I've been dying to try and finally pulled the trigger and grabbed it. It is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've heard so many good things about this. People have raved about it. Anytime I see somebody with this on, I always think their makeup looks flawless and I finally tried it out and it does live up to the hype. So. I 1000% would repurchase it. I think it is worth every penny. I think this is $60. So it's definitely on the more expensive end when it comes to foundations, but if you have pictures, if you have an event, if you're going somewhere and you just want to really snazz it up, this foundation is so good. It's worth it. It is flawless. I do have it on currently and you'll find throughout the video, I tried to actually wear most of the makeup products that I'm talking about today. So I have this foundation on now. And again, I just think it is so flawless. It makes your skin look absolutely perfect and airbrushed. And personally, I don't know that this is a foundation I would use daily um, just because of the cost and how much it is. But if you're in front of the camera, if you're doing photos, if you have an event, going to a wedding, anything like that, this is definitely it. This is the one, grab it, splurge, and just hold on to it and you will not regret it. You will be so happy. Um, I have the shade 6.5, but currently right now, this is a little too dark for me. So I have two of these. So I mix shade 6.5 and I also mix shade five together and it ends up being my perfect shade. This is like magic in a bottle. So if you've been waiting to try this out, take this as your sign, or if you're just ready to do a little splurging on a new foundation, grab this one. So next I wanted to share a new lippy with you guys and I just went and put on a fresh coat. This is the Ombrish 24 karat liquid lipstick and I'm not usually a fan of liquid lipsticks but I love the formula of this. I love the color too which is another reason why I wanted to share it with you guys but um, this brand is new to me. I tried it last month for the first time and from the first application of this product I was like oh my god I love this lippy so 
so much. Um, the color is Naked Dreams, and I think it's super flattering. It's very me and up my alley. It's a pretty nude, but I don't feel like it pulls too brown or gray at all. Still has a little pink to it, which I love. The formula of this is just really nice because it is a liquid lip, but it's not drying at all. It's almost like a hybrid to me. I don't have any liquid lipsticks that are this comfy. So I've worn this by itself and more of the matte look, so to speak. I just put a new layer on um, before I brought this out to show you guys. So I don't have gloss on currently, but I had gloss on a little bit ago. And you can totally layer it with gloss and it wears really well with gloss on top too. But it's just very soft on the lips, very nice on the lips, super comfy. It doesn't dry at all, it doesn't crack but it definitely stays put and I love that. Next up, I have a lip liner that I love so much. This is from Persona Cosmetics and they sent this to me within the last, I don't know, month or so. Um, but they sent a ton of different shades and the one that I have gravitated to the most is Almond. So that's the one I'll be sharing with you guys today. I'm also wearing it and it's just a really pretty nude color. If you want like an everyday liner, this is it. The color is perfect. Really love the formula of these. They glide right on. It's a pencil and it sharpens beautifully, super, super easily. But the formula of this is long lasting. It is super comfortable on the lips love the color and you can grab this from Ulta I am so excited about this next one this is one that snuck up on me I always have one of those I feel like every month it's just a product that I end up loving and just wasn't expecting or searching for anything like that so this is that one for me this is the size up mascara by Sephora and I ended up partnering with them last month to create a reels and do a tutorial of applying this but this is only $12 and it is such a nice mascara it's really buildable it has a lot of volume I love the brush on it I have it on currently I've shared this on my stories quite a few times just to show like befores and afters of applying this, but I really, really love it. I love the formula. I love the brush for $12. Seriously, you just, you can't beat it. But I haven't run into any problems with clumping or rubbing off at all, any flaking. It's just been a really, really great mascara and you guys should check this out. Then I have a drugstore find that I've been meaning to share with you guys for the longest time and I don't know why this hasn't been included in my favorites sooner, but I feel like I've been using this since end of December, beginning of January timeframe. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so underrated. Everyone needs it. It's like six bucks. It's the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter and it's in the shade Half We Met. This is like my perfect combo with this pretty peachy pink and gold. Both of these are so pigmented. The highlight is absolutely blinding also wearing it in today's video but i love this as a glowy finish highlight i love it in my inner corner it is so pretty really buildable and i can't believe it's six dollars um they have a couple other shades but this is just what i'm drawn to and what i like so i only have this one so far but i would imagine the others are just as pigmented and gorgeous as well then I have another lipstick find. I feel like this one is kind of random because it's not like a new product or anything. It's just one of those I was rummaging through my makeup drawer, trying to find a shade that was speaking to me and I found this one from Buxom. It's in the shade Goddess. Just a really pretty nude, really great for every day. Super, super wearable and goes really nicely with the almond lip liner that I shared as well. I've also shared um, Buxom lipsticks before. I feel like I've done at least two videos now. One or two? I've done at least one video, I can't remember. Um, trying out Buxom lipsticks and the formula is divine. I've said this a million times, it's so comfy. They have that slight little tingle from the plumping in it and they just wear really, really, really well. So if you are looking for a prestige brand lipstick, something that isn't drugstore, check these out. They have so many different colors. If this is not speaking to you, um, I'm sure they have something else. But I also always love how they have the little lips embossed on the tube as well. I think it's super cute, but is the shade goddess and it's gorge. 
I'm getting down to my final two. So the second to last one is the Buxom White Russian Palette. I did an unboxing and first impressions when this first came out. And you guys, I just have been gravitating towards this so much as I knew I would from that first video. This is just such a pretty, pretty palette. It's very me. It's very easy to grab for and create a bunch of different looks with. But honestly, I have been sticking with these two colors, this one here, and I'm wearing it today. I love, love, love putting this in my crease as like a transition shade, which if you watched that video at the time, I didn't do that because I was worried it would pull too pink or be too dark. It's not at all, it's gorgeous, I love it. And then I have been using this in my like inner corner lid area and just these two colors is all I'm wearing today. They're super, super pretty. Obviously I love all of them, but this has been basically like my go-to palette that I've been loving. Um, then of course there's these two blush colors which are stunning and they're new. I think they're only kind of like exclusive to this palette, but they're really pretty and I like that I have shadow and blush and it's all shades that I will actually use. Okay, and then lastly I have magic in a bottle. I said that about one of the other ones, but like this one as well. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that I picked this up and tried it. It is the Ilia Soft Focus Translucent Setting Powder. I saw um, Steph Letta or SMLXO try this out and I trust her opinion truly. And she had raved about it, said how much she loved it, said how much she felt like it really gave her makeup like this flawless airbrush look. By all means, I was like, I want a flawless airbrush look. So I picked it up and grabbed it and I am obsessed. Another product that lives up to the hype and I wasn't sure if it would. There's two shades of this. I grabbed this in the lightest one. And if you follow me on Instagram and have watched my stories, then you probably saw me do a little comparison between the Laura Mercier and this one in terms of color um uh, but this is definitely pretty stark white like it's light it does blend into the skin very well but i have only tried it so far on my under eyes i haven't used it yet to set my whole face so i definitely need to do that but when i tried it the first time and saw how white it was i was just a little hesitant to um because i just didn't have time to have a makeup fiasco if something were to go wrong at that moment and just knew i needed time to play around with it but as far as my under eyes go with this powder, I personally feel like I have the most flawless under eyes that I've ever had. It is stunning. So I've been using this to set my under eyes and set my concealer. And then I do just take a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to go over it just for color purposes and to make sure I don't look like washed out or too white or anything but i haven't had any problems with the color overall haven't had any flashback it really does just make your skin look so flawless and airbrushed and i don't know what it is but i've never had a powder do this to the extent that this powder does so if you are eager and want to see i have it saved in my beauty highlight on my instagram page so you can go there and i show you a before and after like a little tutorial but I, again, will work and put it on the books to do a makeup tutorial or like updated makeup routine soon. Um, so you guys can see this in person as well, but it's worth the hype, it's beautiful. And this is another product where I feel like if you're on the fence about picking it up or have wanted to, like take this as your sign and do it because that was me for a very long time and I'm very glad that I ended up purchasing it. All right, well, that is going to conclude today's video and my March favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning back in and watching. Make sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products out. Let me know if you have any requests or recommendations for me in terms of videos or products to try out for the month of April. Oh my gosh, I almost said March. <laughs> But if you're new, I definitely hope you'll stick around and stay. Love you guys so much and until next time.